Ever since the Siege Barrack has come out and made funneling a lot easier, this attack has become very strong from Town Hall 10 and above. So let's get right into this. So here's what we're going to be doing in this attack. You're going to use your Queen Walk to primarily kill the Clan Castle troops and take out a bunch of buildings narrowing the funnel. Now any extra value you can do in this approximate one minute that you should spend doing your Queen Walk uh, the better okay things like expos bomb towers wizard towers and heroes are the type of things you really want to get now the second thing is you want to drop your siege barrack on the opposite side uh, of where you want to enter with your hybrid <coughs> and of course the last step is you're going to drop your miners right as the siege barrack is about to release your hog rider so that they can work in unison to take out the base most of the time you're going to want to use all heal spells for your hybrid but if you have a hero or two to kill you may want to consider bringing a rage for your hybrid as well so that they can take care of those heroes easily without being slowed down too much so for this army we're going to be focusing on using the siege barrack full of hog riders though it is useful to have a yeti bomb at sometimes we're going to focus on this variation if you don't know it's in the clan castle i highly recommend bringing a high level poison if you know there's an e-dragon or a dragon or something stupid like that, then just bring a poison, one of your own poisons, that'll do. Now, if you're going deep into the base or you're going into a high DPS section with your queen walk, you're going to want to bring five healers, but if you can get away with bringing four, you may want to, to make room for more miners. Uh, the loons are just cocoa loons to catch seeking air mines. The deeper you go into the base, the more cocoa loons you're going to need. Hog riders often are going to be used to lure the CC. Sometimes you won't need them. And I always like to bring two wizards just for cleanup, just in case the hogs separate and leave some trash behind them. And then obviously you're going to want to consider how many wall breakers you're going to be needing here. And the miners obviously are going to be the star of the show. Now most of the time you're going to use all of your rage spells on your queen walk and all of your heal spells on your miners though some people do bring a good amount of freezes which can be useful as well so for our first replay we're going to be looking at bow's attack and this is quite the overkill now as you can see you have both heroes in one spot along with the cc troops so that makes for a really good area to do the queen walk now bow's a really good queen walker so they're going to be entering right here obviously to get the um, CC and remember there's a Valk in there so he goes ahead and freezes the Valkyrie right away because that Valkyrie can be a real pain in the butt as far as these um, Queen walks go and he has a high level freeze you should always bring a high level freeze just in case you have a real pain uh, CC like this so the Queen's already gone the CC is gone at this point now he just has to worry about the funnel uh, and definitely be liberal with those rage spells now once these buildings are gone he's going to be able to drop his miners over here and he does he has some interesting timing here so by the I'll pause right here now he's already released his miners but by the time this stuff is gone this siege barrack will be down on health okay so Bo here uses this attack a lot so he knows to knows when to drop his miners okay so right now the miners are kind of busy and they get a little slowed down by the skeletons which can be a pain but they still have two uh, heal spells and now the hog riders come out there okay and a lot of the miners have gone to the middle you see that hogs are kind of helping on the outside as well and this is the kind of thing that makes this strategy really strong in Town Hall 10 and of course the giant bomb comes up and by now it's just it's over right the queen is under no threat really here because you have the hybrid on the other side distracting all these defenses and there's plenty of time he's going to finish this attack with like 40 seconds left so here we have an attack by Bo, and he's a bit of a specialist with queen walk hybrid at town hall 10 just like the first replay, he's going to take out both heroes and the CC with his Queen Walk. And since you have all of these buildings in this open area, it's also going to clear a big chunk of the base, uh, leaving the pathing very neat for his hybrid. 
And as you can see over here, it's a really uh, solid place to put a siege barrack, because a siege barrack can clear all that as well, also making a really good funnel, okay? So I'll go ahead and play this, and he has a really nifty way of dealing with these super minions in the clan castle. And for those who don't know, the super minions are very dangerous. But one good way to deal with them is to put uh, a bunch of troops in front of them and have them waste their five troops. After those five troops are, are done, it's pretty much like dealing with a couple of baby dragons. It's really not hard at all. So Bo puts his queen lock, puts the poison, nice and neat. And at this point, the CC kill is really easy, okay? So, he uses a rage here, which is unnecessary, because he could have gotten through those minions very easily without the rage, especially if the poison was a little better placed. And, you know, hindsight's 20-20, I'm sure he knows that as well. But he's going to use another rage to get through the heroes, which is a perfectly good use for that rage. Now, that rage, though, is pretty much swag, though it did help her speed up but anyways both heroes are down now this stuff is gone and now he's using the queen and the pekkas to get rid of that area so once that's gone you're going to see the path to the multi inferno is going to be very clear in fact i'll go ahead and two times this and he's just waiting for his pathing to be clear and once it becomes obvious that the hogs are going to be able to go straight in here he drops his heel and he drops his hogs and he drops his heal, and this is a uh, cleanup attack, by the way, so he knew there was a bunch of giant bombs there. And now, of course, we have the two splash buildings over here, which is which calls for that placement of the heal there, which is very effective in this attack that ended up being a very comfortable three-star. Another very well done attack by Bo. If I leave you with anything, it's to make sure you get a lot of value out of your queen walk, okay? This is not the type of attack that you can just use to take out any Town Hall 10. But when you see a base that you know you can take out at least one hero and the CC along with making a nice uh, narrow path for your hybrid, that is when you should start considering using this attack. As always, I hope this thorough guide was helpful. If it was, and only if it was helpful, please leave a like. And if you want to see more thorough attacking guides like this, then subscribe and hit the bell icon to see more videos like this.